Hi, this is Tate with American Ghost Adventures. I'm in Port Canaveral, Florida, investigating a hotel. Um, it's gonna be part of our Highway to Haunt series here. So we're trying to see what paranormal activity they actually encounter in these hotel rooms. So another investigator and I are actually staying in different rooms just to see if these are just urban legends or is this hotel actually haunted? So stay tuned as we hopefully get some evidence for you to let you know our conclusion of this location. So thank you for alerting the REM pod. <laughs> Full contact. There we go. Thank you. Can you say hello by turning it on at this second for us? <laughs> Hello back. Hello. This is Marco. Can you say hello to Marco by turning that on at the second? Tell us you're there. Can you say hello to me? My name is Ting. We'll be sharing the room tonight. <laughs> Thank you. So guys, as you can see, I've already got an activity as you can see. I understand the other red one is gonna be the temperature change because the AC just kicked on, but the other thing should not be going off. So it's really, really interesting. And you can see how he, I'm saying he answers me. When I first walked into this hotel room, it was very, very um, heavy, kind of anxious actually. And we just started investigating like I said, that's just the temperature, but the other one should not be going off. So we're going back to this. I just turned off the AC. You can see the button, red button there, so that I can debunk this. Can you show us by touching the REM pod at this time that it's you and not the AC causing this interference? Can you turn that on for me? Pretty please? <laughs> Thank you. So the AC is not on, so nothing else is on. So thank you for answering me. We're gonna do a um, EVP session here in a second. And if you'd like to tell us anything, that would be amazing. If you're a male spirit, a man, a boy, a gentleman, can you please turn that REM pod back on? If you're a woman, thank you. Well, hello. So you guys can take a look. The REM pod's there, the flashlight's up on the uh, cabinet and our little uh, spirit box thing app is on the bed. Notice everything is quiet now. We've checked the REM pod a couple of times and I realized that beeping noise earlier would not have mattered because this is one of the older REM pods so it does not have the temperature detector on this one, see? I realized that I had a different one. Um, so that that's our basic one. I really actually like the basic REM pod just because when it goes off, it means they're touching it. Um, so there was no temperature gauge on that one. So that was pretty interesting. So it didn't matter if I had the AC on or not, but the AC at this time is off, but everything in the room now just went quiet. Hi guys, it's Ting. So after a long night of investigating, I'm gonna say, yeah, my room is haunted. You can see the REM pod over there across the other bed. It's dead. They drained it. And then of course, I still have the flashlight by the TV. So I'll leave that out all night to see if they wanna turn it on, but hopefully they won't disturb me while I'm sleeping. Marco's on the other side of this wall. He's turned in for the night also. It'll be good to catch up with him in the morning, see what his video blog says and what he experienced overnight. Hopefully they, you know, let us rest. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you again, I'll be sharing a room with a ghost. And uh, you guys, have a good night. Good morning. So last night, while well, we spent the night in the room here, or my room, um, it was peaceful. I left the TV on just to see if it would, volumes would turn up and down or anything like that. Uh, lights, um, same thing. 
I turned them off and just see if one would turn on by itself or anything. But they were respectful. They let me sleep. So we'll have to check in with Marco to see if he had any activity. I thought about a lot of things like the REM pods and stuff like that. Um, we know we checked it to make sure that the battery was completely dead. But um, where we went up and touched it and none of the lights came up, none of the sound came out of it. But we left it on the on position and uh, we still got responses from it. So they were powering up our REM pod even though the battery was completely dead. So that was kind of cool. Uh, so we were able to debunk that, yeah, it was just, you know, maybe the battery dying, which it does sometimes a series of beeps, but when the battery's completely dead and no more activity was happening, they were able to still manipulate the piece of equipment to turn it back on to communicate with us. So that was kind of cool. Um, again, so I'm going to say, yeah, this property here at this hotel is... I'm gonna say it's haunted. Yeah, we have some extra guests right. that were here with us. All right, so I just went to Marco's room. Marco, good morning. Good morning. So, how did you sleep? I slept good. I woke up a few times throughout the night, tried to look around, maybe did some investigating as well, but um, nothing. I didn't get really anything. They were quiet or respectful, right? It was very quiet. So, what did you think about our investigation last night with the REM pod? It was very active very active they and they also like anna bounces back and forth she's able to move through the room so she's not confined in one room so that the rem pods we also got activity on the sls camera a couple times and also with the voice box as well yeah so how many would you say was here there were about five or more yeah they came to this, right? Five I would say, more. yeah. We, we did get the answer very clearly. And we got a few voices, not only female voices, but very distinct, different female voices and also a male voice as well. And what did you hear in here that you told me? The... Um, the, the screaming, right? The you screaming, said... yes. The yeah. screaming about um, a woman's scream with a male's voice right after. It was kind of, it's kind of startling, but it was fun. Okay, all right, thanks. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.